Uh, I'm wondering, lang, uh, what's the strategy or what's the plan to, to cut off the infection itself, uh, to dry up the infection so that uh, it doesn't spread around? Because uh, we were talking to Mayor Belmonte kanina, sabi niya, mukhang households ngayon yung uh, one of the primary drivers uh, ng infections. Uh, and uh, ang hirap naman kontrolin yung mga bahay-bahay kasi nasa loob ng bahay mga tao eh. Uh, you don't see if they're wearing masks inside. In fact, a lot of people, a lot of people, to be honest, a lot of people don't really wear masks when they're at home. Uh, because they don't see the logic, but I, I, if I understand correctly, from last year, that was supposed to be the policy. Eh? So those, those elements po. Well, yes, uh, of course, uh, nagtutulong po kami with DILG, with the uh, uh, USEC Florese, with the PNP, you know, talagang they're, very, they're going to be very strict with these uh, minimum health requirements. No? I mean, I'm talking of the mask, I'm talk, talking of social, social uh, distancing. No? Of course, uh, yung mga cinema, yung mga arcades, pinahinto muna ng mga, mga mayors po ito. And uh, ang pinaka-vulnerable talaga rito, Ed, is when there's no mask. Eh. Mm. When you're already eating, di ba? Kasi you don't eat with a mask. Eh. So, alam mo, uh, we are all social, uh, we're all social beings. So, siguro, nasabik din after one year, pagkakain sa opisina, tipong sama-sama sila. So, baka kaya in, in clusters, eh, no? even with families for that matter, Yung iba mga bata, lalabas, kakain, no? Kaya siguro maging strict talaga, lalo na sa restaurants, yung, yung spacing itself, no? Uh, actually, by tomorrow, we're going to have a meeting with the mayors again of Metro Manila. Hmm. Review things because we they, they only act upon the recommendations, no? Upon being given data by uh, the experts. These experts are the secretary of the DOH, uh, Yusek Berhere, and the experts of DOH. And tomorrow, we're going to meet with Okta, no? to at least give us data and, and for some more recommendations. Mayor Marinao naman po, yung isang potent weapon talaga ng LGU, sinasabi nila yung granular lockdown. That's clearly within their powers, it's in their mandate and so on. Pagka tinaas po natin sa level ng Metro Manila Council and ng, ng entire NCR, what is possible and what is viable to do on a metro-wide level? Well, it's a good question, uh, Robbie. No, because right now uh, they're using the granular lockdowns. No? So, what's the procedure here? If we're going to look at cases, there must be clusters. Hindi ka lamang pwede magpasarado sa isang kaso lamang, no? So, dito tipong mas maganda kasi yung affected portion na isolate mo, na contact trace mo, na tapos na na test mo maige, and you're able to, you know, uh, 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 actually separate them from the healthy population. At least yung healthy population na kapag-trabaho, nakakaalis, no? That's the ideal setup. So right now, yung po ang ginagawa muna naman, granular lockdowns. Kasi masyadong mabigat talaga if you have uh, lockdowns dahil una-una hindi pwede lumabas ng tao, papakainin mo yan, tadala mo ng food packs, no? Tapos talagang walang labasan, walang trabaho po yan, no? Siguro yun na yung pinaka-extreme, extreme action na pwedeng gawin na LGU. They still have that power. Kaya naman gawin yun, but I think right now, no, personally, hindi pa naman siguro. But what is really important is to be on top of the situation, know your population na may sakit, alam mo, bawat kalye, bawat building, and then automatic test kagad. Pagkatapos ng test, i-contact trace mo kasi ang, ang delikado rito, yung umiikot siya, hindi niya alam nakakahawa siya. Hmm. No? Kaya contact tracing is really very essential here. And then automatic kasi iba ayo umalis, i-isolate kagad natin, no? Mm. So, yung po ang ginagawa ngayon ng mga mayors, no? And of course in coordination with the national agencies of government. Nabanggit niyo po yung meeting bukas with the mayors. Ano po yung agenda doon? DILG among other things is trying to suggest a metro-wide curfew uh, other than that and other than getting the latest data from Okta and and DOH, are there specific recommendations that you would like to recommend uh, across the boards for Metro Manila? Well, it's more of uh, reviewing uh, what are being implemented right now. It's more of checking uh, what else do we need aside from the test, how many tests do, do they need, uh, uh, the contact tracers. And after reviewing, then we're going to brainstorm on some other probably recommendations, like for example, transportation at that. No? Yung bang transportation ngayon na tabi-tabi na may plastic, okay pa ba yun or dapat baguhin natin? I mean, they're not even being checked with their temperatures kasi nga medyo ang jeep baba ng baba yan eh o mas isa ano so mag 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 talaga mag ano kami mag mag brainstorm kami aside from the recommendations of Octa and the DOH uh, officers